first 20 minutes from Wales and then open up. They've got to be very, very careful in that first 20. If Wales did slip up today, and they have been a bit of a bogey team for them of late, how, how much of a disaster is it for Wales? They play them next year, of course. They're in their group in the Rugby World Cup. They, they want to send a big message out today. They have to. I mean, the, the, the rankings are miles apart. Fiji's down there and Wales are up there in comparison. For me, it, it's a... We talk about is this uh, psychological when they play the, the uh, Southern Hemisphere with Wales. It shows how psychologically strong they are. If they can put a simple game plan together today, which you don't need to be flash, quick, clean, set-piece ball through the middle, over the game line, quick ball again and attack the way they always do. And they will be successful. They are a big group of players and they have players who dominate the leagues they play in. They're the top scorers and, in, 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 you know, the players in this team, the backs are are the top top finishers you know that that is a, a fantastic prospect today to be playing against that and this wales team know it's an opportunity for themselves as well last week they were free scoring in the first half and it, you know it could be a try fest today hopefully <laughs> there's no doubt with the talent on display it can be and we saw six in the first half last week here we could get nine or ten all to fiji <laughs> Martin, any team that's going to do well in a World Cup needs to not have one leader on the pitch, but a, but a real handful, a group of players who can take it on the responsibility. Who, who are those players for Wales today? Yeah, I think it's big that, you know, Sam Morgan and obviously the normal captain is near. Alan Wynne-Jones is a big leader. He's on the bench, so he's not starting. So you're looking at the experienced players. Your Jamie Roberts, you know, your Mike Phillips at nine, you know, the 70, 80 caps from Mike. So they need to control control the game and keep the composure because if it does get open and loose you need somebody to pull it in tight and go back to basics so uh, it's a big onus on the on the 9 and 12 I'd say Mike Phillips and Jamie Roberts today Do you, Jerry, to to see that atmosphere come to life here? It's it's just it, well, there was hardly anybody here about an hour ago, and the noise was still deafening. Is this the ultimate venue to come and play rugby? Oh, it's, I didn't get to play in this one. I've watched uh, several games here. The atmosphere is always brilliant. To be a Welsh player running out in this stadium just must be wonderful every time it happens. But you never get tired of it. I think the problem is for Wales, it inspires all the other countries to come here as well, <laughs> so they always seem to up there again. I'd love to be playing here, but not right now. Look at the size of these clowns. <laughs> well, there'll be a, a few moments of consideration for them, of introspection, as we hear the anthems.
Spine tingling every time. Let's head over to our commentary team now. Philip Matthews, Jonathan Davis, and Eddie Butler. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. 50 years ago, Fiji first came to Wales. Their tour was not supported by all, but Wales and France said there was a duty to spread the game, and Fiji came, and ever since 1964, there has been a love affair on the rugby field between Wales and Fiji, but not when they are doing this, the Thimby. The Thimby led by Akapusi Ngera, the captain of the Fijian side, the only survivor of the side that beat Wales in one of the most memorable games of all time in the 2007 World Cup. Gethin Jenkins winning cap number 109 returns as captain of Wales. A new second row, Bradley Davis and Luke Charteris, Justin Tipperick in. No Lee Half, then he still no Jonathan Davis down bigger out. George North back on the wing, Scott Williams into the centre. A late change in the Fijian second row. Apisalami Ratuna Yayawara out with a hamstring. In comes Tavita Than Umbati, three centimetres taller, four syllables shorter. And keep an eye out for Nemani Nandolo in the centre. There aren't too many who make Jamie Roberts look small the six foot five center weighs in at 19 and a half stone Pascal Gozer yes. of France is today's referee red captain white and we're underway Wales at home to Fiji. Luke Chartres goes high, but it's going to come loose and down to Chikori Tuma. The kick ahead by Veroniki Moneva of Leicester. Fiji offside. Liam Williams having a sharp word with George North. Afternoon, Jonathan. <coughs> Afternoon, gents. In front of the yeah, looking forward to this, actually. It's a, a big Fijian yep. side. So, uh, I think it's all about execution today for Wales. Play the same kind of game, open, movement about a little bit, but the execution has got to be very good. No loose ball. Reese Priestland, safe kick into touch. Nice round of applause for the Welsh outside half. Afternoon, Philip Matthews. Afternoon, Eddie. Well, this is an area I'd be looking for Wales to really dominate on. They really want to start Fiji of possession, so execution here, but also tactics. Got to get the tactics right today. Justin Tipperick at the tail of the lineup. Alex Cuthbert into midfield, tackled by oh, Nandolo. Ball's gone backwards. Stay. Wales pack that left hand side. Priestland. Taupe, Talupe Falatao to Who's Liam Who's Williams. That? Mike Phillips back at scrum half for Wales. Samson Lee, the sole starter from the front row last week against Australia. Here's Tipperick in, in midfield, tackled by no. Moneva, Priestland, Jimmy Roberts, tackled by Nicola Matawalu, the Glasgow <laughs> scrum half, right. Scott Baldwin, no, three, thumped one. down by Nguera, <laughs> Tipperick, offload, Samson Lee can't take it, George North, beautiful hands from North to Scott Williams, Scott Williams into the centre, yeah, George North did really well there to clear out. Phillips into the Fijian 22. Bradley Davis with the pickup. Falatau takes on Wangani Boroto. Roberts, man and ball. And when it's Nemani Nandolo coming at you, <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's, look I at him. Look I think, at him. Oh, he's a joy. I think one thing they have to do is he plays on the wing 
down in New Zealand. So they've got to have the dummy runners in. And, you know, if you're going to run one up against these lads, they're going to line you up and smash you. That's happened already. So you've got to have dummy runners and, you know, people on the outside of you just as a foil to take, you know, the gang hit or the, or the big hit off you. That's key, I think, is to just move them about with dummy runners. Yeah, I think Wales look a little bit more in the groove when they're taking that ball tight and they're just taking on the, the, the Fijian forwards and tying them in. Moving that ball a little bit too early and loose. You can see Fijian defence is lining players up. They're really coming out of the line. They love to make those big hits. But if you just keep going through the phases against this team, you can start them of, of possession and just get on top of them psychologically. Fine. I was clear in the change room. I need the space. No pre engage at, at fine. Everybody's talked about the uh, potential vulnerability of Fiji in uh, rugby up front, but they won all their scrums against France. They won all their line outs. Yeah, things are changing. You're all playing in professional you know, clubs or regions all over the world. They are going to get better. Fine, fine. Crutch! Nicola Matawalu, very Set. important for the rhythm, the tempo of the Fijian game. Rolls it in, <laughs> not quite straight. Not quite straight. Away comes Masi Mataringo. Horn White, Horn! Kick Horn two. by Talambula, the fullback. Horn. Plays his club rugby in France with Bordeaux. Liam Williams breaks two tackles. Liam Williams deceptively strong. Rayon. Phillips it's to Priestland. Okay. Knock on. Release! Right, release! The gene advantage. No this is where it's dangerous. Floated like to Angera. Here comes number eight, Mataringo. Matawalu. Good defence. Samson Lee and Reese Priestland, the pair of scarlets. Josh Matavesi oh. straight at Alex Cuthbert. A chance for Wales' big man to take it back into the Fijian 22. Matu Sela Talambula. And the pause. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to hear how uh, Matavesi goes. He doesn't play stand off for the Ospreys. You know, so um, the general game management will be interesting. He doesn't kick a lot, you know, for the Ospreys, so it's going to be a tough task for him. But Phil, quite interesting how slow the ball goes going in there. If you're, you know, if you're under pressure in the scrums, you want the ball to get in quick and get away with it. Yeah, absolutely, that's what Fiji need to do. I, I'd just like to see Wales being a little bit more direct at the moment. They're moving the ball through the hands, but really like to see them earning the right to go wide first, particularly against this side, Fiji today. Justin Tipperick, again the line-out target, and again the supplier, the kick leads to nothing. That's brilliant running by Maya Falebu. not such a good pass, but um, they will run from anywhere. Yes, a loose pass, a loose kick, you know, they pick it up and just, just one thing on this guy's mind, let's have a go at them. You can see why the chip was uh, was made, stay, purely stay. because you know the, the line speed is very good. Keep them thinking. Six, leave it, six. Talupe Falatao made 17 tackles out of 17 attempts leave last it. week against Australia. <laughs> Did off here in the first six minutes, but he oh advantage being played. Yes, Roberts, Priestland, good move by Wales. Scott Williams, Scott Williams to George North, and Wales are on the board. Early try. For Wales' is wing. That's a very, very good try by Wales. They isolated the uh, outside centre. Held his, held him. And then it's an easy, easy finish. Two on one, lovely try. Uh, they earned the right to do that for the mall. That's what Wales need to do. The one thing about... I suppose the structure of this Fiji side, they're great as individuals, they're learning an awful lot by playing in disciplined Northern Hemisphere sides, but the real cohesiveness of their defensive structures is very, very difficult just to turn on. That's a team thing that you can't just turn on and off overnight, and they're a little bit naive on that occasion, and they've made the most of that space there. 
That's what Wales need to concentrate on. Engage their tight forwards up front and then move that ball wild, wide and try to expose that indiscipline. Set piece play. Line out on one side of the field. George North scores in the corner on the other. Here you go, Rhys Priestland, his first place kick of the game. Doesn't quite curl it round, the score remains at Wales, 5, Fiji, 0. Here's the ball once again, lovely, lovely ball, they just hold the inside centre with the dummy runs. Noneva just held, held and watched Cuthbert and got on the outside of him. The Fiji just standing off Wales a little bit there at your feet. You'd like to see them just a, a little bit, bit, bit more line speed yeah. there. Matavesi with the restart. Oh, and nobody, nobody shouted for it, it for Wales. Wide. Nobody claimed it. it. Tekoi Rotuma, the Harlequins player, nearly caught it. That would have spelt danger. As it is, Wales can run it out of there. Own 22, Liam Williams. Turn it over again, on, just can't afford to do that, Ed. Second turnover of this little movement, Stay one right. by Fiji and that one by Wales. Moneva, Talimbula. This is Akapusangera, Toby Falatao produces a turnover. Jamie Roberts, the scrum half, big Luke Charteris. To Mike Phillips, Priestland. Priestland, good pass to Scott Baldwin. Baldwin comes away with it. Matawala with the tackle. Ball has again Rayo. gone loose. <laughs> it is very loose Red out Ruiz. there. Matawalu back in conventional position. Matavesi. Wait. Good kick way downfield. Across comes Liam Williams. Twelve. Wait. Wait. Matawalu way back on his own goal line. And finally the ball goes out of play. Well, it wasn't pretty, but tactically for Wales that was a great outcome. They didn't really want to be giving giving into the pressure to run that out of defence. They turned that ball over so easily. Yeah, lovely break, half break. Yeah, it's just happened there. Scott Baldwin, the uh, Ospreys hooker, had a good season. Uh, and uh, well, here he is. If we're gonna go, we just hold the it moment. there. If we just hold it there. Just watch how tight these two are for a start, okay? And if we run it on, run it on, run it on. Stop it there. That's all you got to see is just watch. You know that guy has got his eyes clearly on this man, so he holds him in. Run it on again. He gets the new in here. That's it. They're both ball watching 13 and 14. Dummy run has done exceptionally well. Two on one, simple try. Try number 19 for George North. For Wales. Scott Baldwin having his ankle heavily strapped. Mark Davis, the physiotherapy, physiotherapist. Emir Phillips is on the bench for Wales as hooker, but Scott Baldwin keen to carry on and finds Falatao. So Wales have used their back rowers, Tipperick and Falatao, from the line out. Dan Liddick, the other back row forward, steering the mall. Use the ball! They have to play it quickly now. Phillips to Falatao. Charters Release with him. Phillips to Priestland. Whoops, trouble here, as away comes Neva, the kick for Nandolo to chase George North against Maya oh, He's knocked it on, he's knocked it on. Not on, but one straight pass and the disgust by Waisea, Maya Thalevo. lucky break for Wales. That was a very, very good chance. Nasser, Nalevo, there is the mistake, he looks, he looks, ball just comes out of his hand. 
and he gets his foot to a great work by George North. I thought that was a definite try with the pace of this man. But then he knocks it on. It's his leg and his hands. That's definitely a knock on. He knows it. Opportunity missed for Fiji. But that just sums it up. You cannot be loose against this side. Very, very lucky to get away with their wheels. I think you've got to be a little bit more patient, boys. You know, you're the two forwards. If you're the, if you're the half box, you'd be saying, right, just tighten it all up, keep it tight. Let's do what they don't like us doing. Let's keep it tight. Drive, scrum, pick and drive, then go, then release the box. Well, especially since the setup was so good, so efficient from Wales, the forwards. They look up there, 80 yards backwards. Set. Nine, stay, stay, wide. Solid scrum. Good scrum for Wales, Falatau, tackled by Nguera. Did well then, Falatau. Falatau does make half a yard. Ooh, Wales behind the line, Liam Ooh. Williams, good, Stop. healthy boot to the ball. That's a, that's a really good kick by Liam Williams. Although it does give Tikoi Rotuma a chance to come back. back. Nine. Straight back to Williams, Priestland directs him downfield. Hold. Karambula is back for Fiji. This doesn't want the bounce too close to that dead ball line. <laughs> 22 dropout. Oh, he's done oh, it. Quickly taken by. Bati, the second row, didn't often see that. Here he is involved again. He did knock it on. Oh, I'm not sure if that was a knock on. Occasion. I think it was a foot to the Well, that's one thing you'll see with Fijian players is three quarters skills throughout the team. That was number five, Tavita Thabati taking that quick drop out. They'll just do it from everywhere. Possession going totally against them at the moment. Nearly 70% possession to Wales. So Fiji will use any opportunity to get that ball back into their hands. Stay. Scrum 20 metres infield, here we go. Tavita Vavumbati. Good tackle, Tipperick. But always, always aware, yeah, knock on. In some mind. There's a wonderful oh, blind side here. What do you think, Philip? Crutch! Well, I don't think it's, it's used half enough in the modern day game. Blind. It seems to have forgotten about Set. the blind side, and as you say, even for Rux and uh, Rux as well. Oops, a good Fiji scrum, and then Wales relock. They've gone left, away from the blind side. Open field. Oh, it's worked because Cuthbert was in off his Red wing. Form. Mike Phillips waves everybody. This way, Bradley Davis takes on Nandolo, and he's Rich stripped by the side. The second row beaten up by a centre, but that is the size of Nemani Nandolo. No, Phillips, no knock on. Oh, it's gone loose for Wales, and Nandolo is involved again, a little chip forward for lucky, lucky. Maya Thalevu. Just, you know, that, that scrum, as you both mentioned, the scrum turned the right way for Wales, a pick up and go on the right-hand side. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult to do the very obvious thing yeah. and some very obvious things and opportunities Wait. for Wales. I, I think what led to that was Bradley Davis going into contact on his own with his individuals as an individual. He's not getting the backup from his teammates to really clear out the Fijian tacklers. That's Wales! No hate! Wales on the move, control, drive at the line-up, this could really hurt Fiji. Yeah, they yeah. get the penalty as well. Now then, little dink to the corner. Yes, got to be, catch and drive again. Good solid work for the forwards, and what a difference, Philip. Instead of going back with 70 yards, they win the penalty, and they're still going in the right direction. Yes, it's, it's not necessarily what the crowd want to see, but you've got to do the hard oh, work like what? this against a team like Fiji early on to earn the right to move that wide. That's a great kick by Rhys Priestler, absolutely fantastic kick, no angle whatsoever. Brave call, that is, you know, to go for that distance with that angle, it's a very, very good kick by Rhys Priestler, and puts him in a great position. Samson Lee, wait, wait. Scott Baldwin, the thrower. Taken by Bradley Davis. The set, Scott what? Baldwin, the last there. It's 
Fiji have done well to take that to ground. It'll be Your difficult to get the all going forward from there. Justin Tipperick trying. Mike Phillips having a little look to the left. Oh, they've done well. Guessing Jenkins now in control. More from red, still white. Oh, that will be a disappointment to the forwards, the Welsh forwards. Well, I thought Fiji were lucky not to be penalised for pulling that one down. But they've got away with it on that occasion and turned it around. And it's, it's these occasions that will just boost Fiji's confidence if they can stop Wales from scoring. And Wales, from their part, really need to hammer home the advantage they've had with territory and possession. 70% of each. Campesi Ma'afu on the loose head for Fiji, named after the great David Campesi. I think the uh, parents had ambitions of him playing on the wing, maybe, not yeah, in the yeah, front yeah. row. The way he's ended up. <laughs> loose head prop. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ambition dashed, isn't it? Yeah. He's got a great goose step, though, I hear. And on the other side, Manasa Saulo, who plays his uh, club rugby in Romania for Timisoara. Wales won't want to give away a penalty here. They'll want to really have a crack at this scrimmage. Well, I saw Toby Falatel just moving into the Channel 1 after the engagement there. And I just wonder whether they're gonna, he's going to look for a quick, an old-fashioned Channel 1 ball to his feet and move off to the blind zone. Let's see if he does it again this time. So Lupe Falatel, Dan Lidiot with the scrum cap, would that big, be a, tall Luke Chartres. Would, would that be a defensive um, ploy though, to, to shoot off and put pressure on the kicker? Because it is Fijian ball, so unless they're going against the head, they're not gonna, he's not going to use it. The thing is, now, they have to put pressure on Matavesi. You know, he doesn't play a 10, he's uncomfortable. If the scrum's under pressure, the kick is going to be difficult for him. Well, Falatau has gone back into the conventional position to drive. There he is between the second rows, and Wales get the free kick. Not the penalty, but perhaps they'll go for scrummage, though. They have to go for scrum, haven't they? Nope. Mike Phillips on his own, tackled by Matadingo. Tried to set up the rolling mall, it's gone to ground. He's on his ball, he's done well to get the ball gone. Falatau, one metre short, Phillips goes in for it and feeds Reese Priestland to Alex Cuthbert, Cuthbert for the line and scores a try apiece for the Welsh wingers. That's very good play by uh, Reese Priestland, he called, the ball was, uh, was quick, they were short on the blind side, it's a very, very good call. Uh, Wales exposing what should be a fairly straightforward defence. They really haven't got to work too hard for that one. Just a couple of phases. And when there's more structure in the game, Wales are able to expose the Fijian indiscipline, a lack of structure, defensive cohesion. When the game is loose and open, they seem much less comfortable. Lisa takes it forward. That's a good long pass. And they like Southford to get outside his man. And it was well seen. I know you hate the cutout pass, Jonathan. Would you, <laughs> would you think, prefer? Well, no, no. Cut that pass there. It's, it's a try scoring pass. You know, there's times you use it. I think a lot of players just use it for the sake of it. No, that was you know perfect for it. Give it early to the winger. Great support play and by uh, I think it was Scott Williams anyway. Fantastic. Alex Cuthbert for him. That is try number 40 for Wales. The wingers have uh, left Reese Priestland with conversions from wide out. This from the other side. Will it curl? No. No. Ten points to nil, Wales lead. I mean, very good play, but we'll just stop it there, just watch this. He'll go, one will go there and he'll come there and he'll push out, okay? So that's what'll happen. Just run it on quickly. They're very, very tight to Fijian. And it's a run of Scott Williams just holds the players out. They get on the outside. Very, very good play by Reese Priestland and Scott Williams. Josh Matavesi restarts again. Alex Cuthbert, the try scorer, waits for it. <laughs> and this time, Asaeli Tekoi Rotuma gets his man. I think he tried to put his foot 
in touch on the full. I think that's what he tried to do. But unfortunately, he catches it, then puts it out. And then gets smashed. Sunya Koto to throw for Fiji. Space! 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 Stay! Stay! Back! I'm in ditch. Fiji try a driving mall of their own. It's a penalty here. I hear him call it run, is it? I'm in ditch. And the mall is moving. Use the ball! We have to play it now. At Owalu, there is room for him. Tipper it just gets him. Nandolo has dropped him. But they'll go back for the penalty. Well, Matuala was so penalty. dangerous. He looked to be well covered there, but he faints so well. He, make, he makes you think he's given it, and he just slips his shoulder and goes outside you. He's electric, isn't he? That's the difference. He's absolutely he electric. I think his tip break is there, so you know you, you'd be happy with your with your back rower there. But the gap was a little bit too big. And on his shoulder, Nadolo, he's an absolute monster. I think about 19 and a half stone. There's the break. Look, just watch. Ball, he's dangerous. Look at how he's gone, you know. Lydiot steps up a little bit. The natural gap opens up. Nadolo adds, or oh, not adds, kicks the first three points for Fiji. Ten points to three. Well, the neutral and me here would, would love to see... Fiji getting a little bit more ball because to see the likes of Nadolo in full flight, to see Matawala running and taking on this Welsh back row, but they've been really starved of possession and territory so far. Wales going to go into their plan. George North chases it, it goes over the head of Luling Nakarawa. First the point, White. Wales attacking scrum just outside the Fijian 22. Don't move. Stay in the same line. Just doesn't seem to be the same intensity as you know against the Australians, and I think that's what Wales have got to, you know, try and get to. They need to, you know, dictate the tempo and the pace of this game, and try and you know tire out the Fijians. They're a very, very big side, but I doubt if they would be as fit as the Welsh. So they've got to play with tempo, got to play with pace, and move on, and they dictate the pace. Crunch! Bind! Brain gate! Another free Brain kick gate. for Wales at the scrum. Falatau takes it quickly. Gethin Jenkins. With the jobber. Priestland. Oh, Jamie Roberts through the gap. Tipperick over the ball with the blue scrub cap little knock on by Wales again little knock on just takes the momentum out of the movement lovely little inside ball just watch ball dummy Scott Williams on the dummy holds the defence and then Jamie Roberts comes I don't need to bring gauge up there we are Scott Williams holds the first runner very good play Two tries, both by Welsh wingers. First, George North. And number two, Alex Cuthbert. Three, three. Second row for Fiji had to be Rick Jig before the kickoff. Leone Nakarawa and Tavita. Abumbati are on the field. Makarawa, who plays for Glasgow. Jamie Roberts, of course, who plays in, in France. Interesting that Josh Matavesi is saying that all the Fijian players, bar one, in the entire squad, play their rugby outside the islands. And of course, Wales are trying to regroup all their players within Wales. It's a different, different philosophy. 
I suppose there's not much of a domestic game for, G, for Fiji and they've certainly gained by, by playing in a lot of these Northern Hemisphere sides. Their set pieces have improved. But again, just coming back to that defensive cohesion, that's still a major weakness. Matadingo, the number eight, Stay. drives. This okay. is the boot of Josh Matadesi. Born in Cornwall, his dad came over on the uh, 1987 tour and stayed. Josh Massavesi. No, wait, 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 wait. Five! Born over here. Wait. Scott Baldwin to Willie Fine, Bradley Davis. Bradley Davis calling the shots, but the target is Dan Lydiot over the tail to Tipperick. Tipperick through Massavesi. Scotland. Scott Williams. This is George North. And again, Fiji have turned it over. <laughs> Nakarawa, the big second row. Great pass. They support as well, Mark. Well, oh, here they come again. This is the, <laughs> the the front row forward. They all run like three quarters. This is the hooker Koto. Still going. And one. Naveva. Good play, Scott Baldwin there. A good play. Matarewa as well. Stay! Matarezi. Nandolo. No. Chance Talimbula. And away comes the captain, Nguera. Oh, Luke Chartres, the second row, did well to get back in defence. Matadingo. Matualu is the prop. Good, good tackle, tackle, Dan Lydiat. Scott Ball and brilliant. Oh. Off feet to play the ball. Off his feet. Yeah. Off feet to play he the just ball. fell over. He got himself Off in a very, very good, good position. But as he fell, he stole the ball. Off feet to play the ball. This will be interesting. Well, how quickly Fiji are able to counter-attack. They get the ball away from the point of contact so quickly, open it out, and they're the other end, the other end of the pitch within about 20 seconds and a try scoring opportunity. On his four, well, so. he's played the ball when he's on the ground, so yeah. it's, it's it's clearly a penalty. But you'd have thought that Fiji might move this, but they're clearly going for the points. They want to get something on the board. Nemani Nandolo, two out of two, two penalties for Fiji, two tries for Wales. Wales ten, Fiji six. You know, Wales maybe fortunate not to give away seven points there. It was a real sign of the Fiji threat. You turn the ball over even deep in their own half and they, they'll run the length of the field. Their stats are good, their ball carries per man are higher than most other teams. When they get it, they make progress. They just don't get enough. Right we go. It's good counter reckoned by Wells, but it's, it's gone completely wrong for them. Becomes away comes Veroniki Nguereva. Like Phillips tries to get back to tackle the Leicester centre. Leicester and Fiji. Matarezi long to Nandolo. Nandolo to Matadingo to Nguera. Oh. Nguera goes on his own with two outside him. And Fiji have not scored the try. They time. might now, though. Not yet, they have a penalty advantage. Tikoi Rotuma plays scrum half. Matarezi goes on his own, tackled by Reese Priestland. Tikoi Rotuma again leaves it for the second row. Thalambuti. And Fiji have the original penalty. Well, what a missed opportunity. Nguera, poor defence by Wales first of all, Maneva comes ball. through the middle, good first, scramble defence, for the first time, the lack of support I think for the Fijians, away. but Play. what an opportunity, We're away. what a chance Play. this is, this is him, he's on the floor now, 
there's the ball straight up the middle and then from this opportunity just watch lovely miss pass again give and take cut but it's no man's land he has got to give that two men outside he has absolutely blown that try and now rather than five or seven points they'll go for the three there's the first break we've got to switch on defensively as well you know you haven't got the, you've got so much possession so much territory you just can't switch off as the ball goes wide there's the miss pass Cuthbert comes up he's got to nail him if Cuthbert comes up he's got to take him any kids watching you've got to pass there what an opportunity as it is here's Nemani Nandolo ever since Wales went 10-0 up he's been busy pegging them back with penalty after penalty this his third attempt and his first failure well he was nonchalant about the first two but you could see him tensing up over that one and that was the result he's pulled that wide Rhys Priestland taking his time Wales Couple need to um, settle down they've been turned over regularly move back hold one Tanambula to his opposite number Rhys Priestland move back, right. uh, right, Liam stop. Williams big collision Liam Williams comes off the better and a lovely pass by Williams to Samson Lee but oh, Wales again have given it away and away comes the second row chance on again <laughs> and Gani Borotu the back row forward leaves it oh, front row forwards now <laughs> big dummy sold by Kantese Maafu the more form the more form oh, well. he's consistent Welsh ball Dossier's a consistent, isn't he? Well, again, from the turnover, Fiji getting the ball away. This is a wonderful take by Williams. In the air, he hasn't got it there in collision, but he's he's alert to it when he wins it in the second attempt. The ball was then turned over, and then Fiji just get that away from the point of contact so quickly to counter. It's taken into contact by Samson Lee. Oh, is that him going off? He might have hurt himself in that. No, it's, it's gone to Wales. I need to see you inside. That's enough. Mike Phillips to feed the scrum. That's the Fijian 10 metre line. The ref's eyes view. Of Fine. the scrimmage. Set. A little bit of pressure from Fiji. Falatawa has to go digging for it. Gets it to Phillips. Liam Williams. Williams. Goes to ground. Tipper it plays it. from half. Advantage played. Yeah. Luke Chartres takes Four it away. up. Tackled by Wadani Borotu. Samson Lee, good pass from the prop. Oh, Rhys Priestland twists out of the tackle and they give it away again in the contact. But perhaps he knew there was an advantage being played. This won't count. George North against Matawalu. Way back upfield. They'll come for tackle the penalty. Quickly. Yeah, I think uh, Madavasu went in there and just blocked off. Didn't go for the ball. Yeah. Now here's a choice, 10-6 instead of 10-0, uh, corner or posts? Corner. Well, he hasn't kicked so well, has he? So, I think he's got to go for the corner. And yeah, not rolling away, yeah. lying on. Not a vase, he's blocking, so take your pick. Oh, sorry. Stay. Up goes Falatau. No, stay. Dan Lidiot with the ball at the back. Okay. Five, leave it inside. Another penalty advantage to Wales. 
you have to take the scrum. From the fight. Take the scrum. Very now. tempted to take the scrum. Two. Captain Gethin Jenkins. His choice. Wait. Well, it's at the scrum or line out, Nick. Kick the touch. Catch and drive again. Line out. Yeah, a lot of people might think you take the points when you get them, but for me, particularly from a forward, you want to really establish a dominance. And if, yeah. if your pack really haven't had the Even ball for a period, you want to get them into the game yeah. and allow them Don't to get on top it. of this Fijian eight. And they haven't done that yet. No, with all, with all the ball that they've had, not a dominance. You know, you expect to be you know a far wider margin on the scoreboard. Falatau wins. The setup is familiar with Dan Lydiat in control at the back within the five metre zone. Another penalty comes Wales's way. Bradley Davis, number four, adds his weight and twists and turns. Dan Lydiat still with the ball. Falatau trying to drive. Fiji getting bodies between the ball and the scrum half, but back we go for the penalty and. One. Two, two. Agree? Looks like a yellow. Yeah. Number two. Hooker. Sonia Koto. Oh, no, it's not. It's number one. It's Campese. Campese Mahafu. Into the bin. It's, it, it has to be a scrum now, doesn't it? Yeah, it has, they've got to make the most sense. Well, he's taking the line. Oh, it, it's going to amount maybe to the same thing. Wait, wait. A catch and drive. Yeah. Wait, wait. But Wales are going to be after an awful lot tighter. Fiji, they're coming round from the side, they're disrupting. But if you're really, really tight and don't give any gaps between the player and the ball, you shut them out completely. Luke Chartres. More. To Lydiat. Lydiat with the ball. On comes the drive. Fiji get it to ground. Oh, Defensive another, job well done. Another yellow card. It's another penalty. Another penalty, though. Here we are. Penalty try! That's what you have to do. Pascal Gozer deliberately collapsing the ball. Penalty try Wales. Yeah, absolutely the right decision. Again, Fiji were just gonna peep, gonna do anything they could to stop that. The referee doesn't really want to be given another yellow card, although you can probably make a case for it. And the ultimate sanction there really is a seven points. That helps Wales, I think, establish the dominance they should be done. They should be establishing with that level of possession. Then give them a ch an opportunity, they'll do the same thing again. I'm quite amazed there's not another yellow card there. It's exactly the same offence as uh, as the previous yellow card, so that should be a yellow card. And I think, you know, it's a second out. Most little break for Rince Priestman, yeah. one in front of the posts. His first successful kick, Wales 17, Fiji 6. That's the original yellow card offence yeah. from Campesi Mafu. I think uh, I think Campesi had eye contact with the uh, the referee there and knew what was coming his way. There's no real difference in the second one, though. Really, the second penalty try. I think Nakarawa should have been uh, binned as well. You know, if you're going to be consistent, just because there's one in the bin on the bin already, you just can't say, "Oh, I can't send another one in." Anyway, Wales have scored three tries in the first half, just as they did last week against Australia. Um, three apiece last week. Fiji, just the two penalties. Jamie Roberts, oh, good good break by Jamie Roberts. Acceleration, another tackler beaten. Oh, ball gone And lost again, again, ball spilt in the tackle. His big second roll. Vanumbati. Matavesi. The kicking game from Fiji, high, high tackle by yeah, Wales, seven. penalty awarded by Pascal seven. Gozer, well, I don't, Justin Tipperick. I don't think Nandolo's going to go from here, is he? I don't seven. think his technique and the striking of the ball hasn't given me a lot of confidence, so he's going for it. Oh, yeah, well, that's the high tackle. Nothing in that really, is it? No, I, I think. You know, I've seen many, many incidents, you know, in international and in club rugby that, you know, both sides really. So, you know, he's got to have a empathy with the game sometimes. The referee, you know, that's not dangerously high tackle. That's a ta you know, ball and all tackle. Yeah, I suppose that the other side of that means that players should be paranoid about where where they're hitting and where their arms are and if they were if the neck is a no-go area well then it's just indiscipline if you're tackling that high 
Same with the, air, the challenge in the air. Distance, no problem. Accuracy, not quite there. He's not recognised. Two them out of four. They haven't really got to recognise kicker head, have they, really? You know, he doesn't kick. Wait. Reese Priestland, long up to halfway. Yeah, we are now... Stop, nine! ...into overtime at the end of the first half. Well taken, Liam Williams. Brilliant. <laughs> Priestland. This will be the end of the first half if Fiji tap it down through Metusela Talimbula. He does. Half-time at the Millennium Stadium. And Wales have a healthy lead over Fiji by 17 points to six. Yeah, I think they'll be disappointed with that. They've had total control of possession you know, and territory. They've been loose, they've been turned over, they lost the ball, and forced errors. I think they've just got to, as, as Phil said, earn the right to go wide by going up the middle first. And I'd expect them, a lot of the ball carriers in the second half, to tighten it up, then go wide. Yeah, Fiji are, are difficult, they're very, very awkward to play against. They're so strong through 1 through 15 that in the tackle, they're always looking for an arm to rip the ball loose, because that's, that's the lifeblood of them. They don't tend to win a lot of possession from set pieces, so they rely heavily on turnovers. Tense meeting between these two sides and Wales were desperate to get off to a high tempo start against a team they knew were dangerous in the last few times they played them and had the better of Wales but it was Wales who got off to the try scoring start they were so desiring. George North's 19th for Wales got them underway. Alex Cuthbert not long after scoring in his fourth consecutive match. Nadona the Giants 12 for Fiji keeping them in touch with Wales an unlikely kicker he is. And it kept Fiji in touch, but then just towards the end of the half, a penalty try leaves the scoreline at 17-6 to Wales. And uh, one of the interesting stats that pops out there, Fiji have made more metres, 231 to Wales, 202. And turnovers as well, eight to Fiji, none for Wales. Um, unsurprisingly, Wales edging it on possession. It was as high as 71% at one time, but Fiji did work their way into the game as we'll have a look in just a moment when we uh, see the best of that first half. Nicky, your, your reaction first to Fiji's performance? Um, I'm on the fence. I, I 